Number 221. In the recent Gulf War in the Middle East, the Allied forces captured 6,400 of Saddam's soldiers, and with provisions on hand, it will last for 216 meals while feeding 3 meals a day. The provision lasted 9 more days because of daily deaths. At an average, how many died per day? Sa tong problem na to, the same lang siya sa problem 220. Meron lang konting difference, pero the same lang yung concept. So dito, meron tayong given na provisions for 6,400 soldiers or men. Kaya lang, since nababawasan sila everyday dahil meron daw namamatay, mas tumagal bago naubos yung provisions natin. So the same concept lang siya as the previous problem. Kaya lang dito, 216 meals while feeding 3 meals a day. So para maging pareha siya sa last na problem natin, gawin lang natin siya na in terms of daily meals. So, 216 meals while feeding 3 meals a day, i-divide natin para malaman natin kung ilang days dapat maglalas yung provision natin. So, 216 divided by 3, ito ay magiging 72. So, 72 days dapat yung worth ng provisions natin in terms of 6,400 na tao. So, para masolve natin yung SN, parang dun sa last na problem, i-multiply lang natin yung 72 days Doon sa original number of men natin or soldiers. So, i-times lang natin yan ng 6,400. At ito na yung maging SN natin. So, 72 times 6,400. 460,800. Yun yung SN natin. 460,800. So, ano pa yung mga given natin doon sa problem? So, 6,400, ito yung A1 natin. So, A1 is equal to 6,400. Tapos, sabi dito, the provision lasted 9 more days. So, ibig sabihin, yung N natin, 9 more days, dun sa original na computed day natin, which is 72 days. So, instead na 72 days, mag-add lang tayo ng 9 days, maging 81 yan. So, yung N natin, or yung number of days natin, bago maubos yung provision, ay 81 days. At ang hinahanap natin, ay yung number of soldiers died per day. Or yung common difference. Ito yung nababawas per day. At ito yung required. So para makapag-solve tayo, erase na natin itong mga to. Ito na yung mga given natin, at ito yung required. So ano nga ba yung formula na mayroong D? So, magamit natin yung formula ng nth term, or an. So, an is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times b. So, meron tayong d dito. Kaya lang wala tayong an. Ang meron lang tayo a1 at saka n. So, kailangan pa natin ng isa pang equation. Pero bago yan, mag-substitute muna tayo dito sa equation na to. An is equal to yung a1 natin which is 6,400 plus yung n natin ay 81 minus 1, maging 80 na lang yan times yung common difference which is unknown. So ito yung first equation natin. Ngayon naman yung second equation, gagamitan natin ng sum of arithmetic series dahil meron tayong sn dito. So yung sum ng arithmetic series sn is equal to a1 plus an divided by 2 times n. So, meron tayong n, meron tayong a1, at meron din tayong sn. So, masasolve natin ngayon yung an. So, ilipat natin yung 2 sa kabila, magiging 2sn yan. Tapos, i-divide natin yung n sa kabila, magiging over n equals a1 plus an. So, para masolve natin yung an, ilipat lang natin yung a1 sa kabila. So, magmo-minus yan. Magiging minus a1. So, isolve na natin yung an. So, yung an natin is equal to 2sn 2 times yung sn natin which is 460,800 divided by n which is 81 minus yung a1 natin which is 6,400 6,400 2 times 460,800 divided by 81 minus 61,000 
or 6,400. So, hindi exact yung value natin. So, ilagay natin yung AN natin is equal to 4,977.78 So, ngayon, masasolve na natin yung D dito sa equation number 1. Dahil meron na tayong AN. So, ipalit natin yung AN dito. 4,977.78 So, isolve na natin yung letter D. So, erase muna natin to. So, para masolve mo yung letter D, ilipat muna natin yung 6,400 sa kabila. So, magma-minus yan. Tapos, i-divide natin ng 80. Both sides of the equation. So, ito maging 4,977.78 minus 6,400 all over 80. Ito yung common difference natin. Or D. So, 4,977 minus 6,400 divided by 80. So, ang sagot natin ay 17.78. So, bakit siya negative? Negative kasi nga nababawasan yung number of soldiers natin. So, merong mga namamatay sa kanila. So, what an average of 17.78. So, average lang to kaya meron siyang 0.77 or 0.78. So, kapag niround off mo to, it's around 18 deaths per day. So, dun sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot. Number 222. A geodetic engineering student got a score 30% on test 1 of the 5 number test on surveying. On the last number, he got 90%, in which a constant difference more on each number that he had on the immediately preceding one. What was his average score in surveying? So dito, meron siyang 5 tests. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At dun sa first test niya, 30% ang nakuha niya. At dun sa last test niya, 90% naman yung nakuha niya. Tapos sabi dito, constant daw yung difference ng mga to. So, constant difference. So, ito yung test 1 natin. Ito yung test 2, test 3, test 4, at test 5. So, yung kasunod daw niya, meron siyang constant na difference. So, ibig sabihin, this is an example of an arithmetic series. Kasi magkakasunod yung mga yan, or constant yung difference nila. Meron silang common difference na tinatawag. At ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung average ng limang terms na to. So, unknown tong mga to. Blank. Kaya lang, ito yung tatandaan nyo. Sa arithmetic series, ang average ng lahat ng terms is simply the average of the first and the last term. So, ulitin ko. Yung average ng lahat ng terms sa arithmetic series ay the same lang sa average ng first and last term. So dito, yung average ng limang terms na yan ay simply the average of 30 and 90. So pag in-average mo yan, 30 plus 90 divided by 2. So ito, 120 divided by 2 ay 60. So 60% ang tamang sagot dito. Which is letter C. So itong principle na to na-apply din doon sa sum ng arithmetic series. So kung maaalala nyo, yung formula natin ng sum of arithmetic series ay Sn is equal to A1 plus An divided by 2 times N. So itong A1 plus An divided by 2, itong term na to, itong buong term na to, yung nakaparentesis na yan, ito yung average ng lahat ng terms. Average of all terms. So kung mapapansin mo, yung average ng all terms ay the same lang sa average ng first term at ng last term. Tapos minultiply lang siya sa number of terms. So yun ang sum ng arithmetic series. So ngayon alam mo na kung bakit ganun yung formula ng sum of arithmetic series. Kasi yung average ng lahat ng terms, kahit ilang terms pa yan, ay the same lang sa average ng first term at ng last term. So tatandaan mo lang yan. Number 223, if the sum is 220 and the first term is 10, 
find the common difference if the last term is 30. So itong problem na to involves sum of arithmetic series. So Sn is equal to A1 plus An divided by 2 times N. So sa problem na to given tayo ng sum or Sn which is 220 tapos yung first term or A1 at meron din tayong last term or An which is 30. Pero ang hinahanap dito ay yung common difference which is yung D. At para masolve natin yung D, gagamitin natin yung formula ng nth term or An is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. So dito, meron na tayong An which is yung last term, 30. Yung A1 meron na rin which is yung 10. Kaya lang wala pa tayong N dito at yung N dito masasolve natin gamit tong formula na to. So, i-solve muna natin yung N bago natin ma-solve yung D. So, yung SN, palitan na natin ng 220. Is equal to A1, 10, plus yung AN natin, 30, divided by 2. By the way, yung formula natin yung sinasolve natin. Times yung N. So, masasolve na natin ngayon yung N. So, ilipat natin yung 2 sa kabila maging 440 to divided by 10 plus 30 ay 40 is equal to n. So, yung n natin is equal to 440 divided by 40 which is 11. So, since meron na tayong n, masasolve na rin natin yung letter D gamit tong formula na to. So, ito palitan natin yung a n ng 30. 30 is equal to a1 which is 10 plus n minus 1 or 11 minus 1 ay 10 times yung common difference na D. So, pag nilipat natin yung 10 sa kabila, maging 20 na lang to is equal to 10D. So, pag dinivide natin to ng 10, ang D natin is equal to 2. D is equal to 2. So, ito yung tamang sagot. At based sa choices, letter A yung tamang sagot. Number 224. Once a month, a man puts some money into a cookie jar. Each month, he puts 50 centavos more into the jar more than the month before. After 12 years, he counted his money. He had 5,436 pesos. How much did he put in the jar in the last month? So, sabi dito, each month, he puts 50 centavos more into a jar. So, yung common difference natin dito ay 0 0.5 or 50 cents. At sabi dito, after 12 years, he counted his money. So, yung N natin is equal to 12 years. Tapos, naglalagay siya per month. So, dapat i-convert natin sa months yung 12 years. So, 12 years times 12 months per year. So, 144 months to. Ito yung N natin. Ito yung number of times na naglagay siya ng money dun sa jar. Tapos, sabi dito, he counted his money he had 5,436 pesos. So, ito na yung SN natin or yung sum ng arithmetic series natin. 5,436. How much did he put in the jar in the last month? So, yung, yung amount na nilagay niya dun sa jar in the last month ay yung last na arithmetic term natin or yung AN. Ito yung hinahanap natin. So, hindi natin alam yung A1. At kailangan natin isolve yung AN. So mag-erase muna tayo tapos isolve na natin itong problem na to. Ito na yung mga given natin at ito yung required. So una, since meron tayong SN dito, gamitin natin yung formula ng sum of arithmetic series. SN is equal to A1 plus AN divided by 2 times N. Tapos try natin mag-substitute. So yung SN palitan natin ng 5,436 is equal to yung A1 hindi pa natin alam. So, iwan lang natin na A1 yan. Plus, yung A hindi rin natin alam. Divided by 2 times N which is 144. So, dito sa equation na to, meron tayong dalawang unknowns. Yung A1 at A N. So, kailangan pa natin ng isa pang equation para masolve natin yung problem. So, ito yung first equation natin. Ngayon, gamitin naman natin yung N term or yung formula ng n-term natin, or an. 
a n is equal to a one plus n minus one times the common difference or d. So yung a n natin anong parin yan is equal to a one plus yung n natin ay one hundred forty four minus one one forty three na lang times yung common difference natin na zero point five or fifty cents yan pero in times of pesos zero point five lang yan times zero point five So, since ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung AN, kailangan i-isolate natin yung A1 para ma-eliminate natin to. So, ilipat natin yung A1 or ito na lang ilipat natin sa kabila. Magiging A1 is equal to AN minus, so ito pag pinultiply mo ng 0.5, madidivide siya ng 2. So, 143, pag dinivide mo yan ng 2, magiging around 71.5. Ito na yung second equation natin. Ngayon, para ma-eliminate natin yung A1, i-substitute natin yung value ng A1 in terms of AN. Doon sa first equation. So, ipalit natin yung second equation doon sa first equation. So, palitan natin yung A1 dito ng AN minus 7.5 or 71.5. So, mag-erase muna tayo tapos gawin natin yun. So, ito na yung equation natin. Tapos, ipalit natin yung A1 dito sa A1 dito. So, ito magiging 5,436 is equal to yung A1 natin is AN minus 71.5 AN minus 71.5 plus AN By the way, ilipat na natin yung 2 tsaka 144 dito sa kabila. So, yung 2 mamultiply dito at yung 144 madidivide. 2 times 5,436 divided by 144, 75.5. 75.5 is equal to, eto magiging 2 an nasa minus 71.5. So tong 71.5 ilipat na natin sa kabila magiging plus yan. 75.5 plus 71.5 So, ito magiging 147 is equal to 2 AN So, para masolve mo yung AN di-divide mo lang ng ito yung 147 So, 147 divided by 2 is equal to 73.5 So, dun sa choices letter A ang tamang sagot